we are on a job that's going to be carpets to a pile and grout. And we are going to be using Code Red as our pre spray. We are going to Code Red all of this and um, we are going to follow up the new Sager's Deep Blue Rinse. We're going to zipper this one. On the tile and grout, we're going to use our spinner, our turbo, TH40, Hydroforce. It's been about five years since it's been cleaned. Another thing we're going to do is use the Sager Super Sealer, uh, which we just spray it down and we mop it in. And it gets in all the grout lines, but it flashes off the rest of the surface. No streaks. Nothing you have to do. It's pretty nice. We'll show you how this all works. All right, we just pre-sprayed. We did some agitation because it's been a few years since it's been cleaned and it's, you know, things get away from people. Auto dealership. Pumped up pressure sprayer. Go ahead, Aaron. We're applying the Sager Super Sealer. We're starting with an east-west, north-south. And then we're going to take and groom that in. And Zach is waiting right there. He's going to use the black end brush on this here. We've got a double headed, double headed Medusa. So, black brush, he's just grooming it in to make sure that it evens itself out. And that's just to make sure that it all fills in any voids. Pre spray down, making it work. We're agitating. Uh, tonight we have the standard white brushes on it tonight. I don't know if the commercial would do better, but we're trying to get in those grout lines. You can see the dirt just flying out of there. That is the code red. This is just code red. Fresh water rinsing it off the tile and grout. I've been speed drying in this uh, carpet cleaning. And now I just flip these around. Also, that protectant can be used on upholstery. Fine fabrics, polyesters. It's an all purpose protect it. Won't change the colors, won't enhance anything. All right, we're going to speed dry this. I'm going to finish up this little area. So that speed dry is not going to affect my pre-spray over here on this edge. Okay, and the plugins are a little rare in here, but I'm uh, going to dry that quick. Have a little bit remaining to dry here. Been pretty good. Just going to dry while I pack up my tools and stuff here that I got all over a mess here. I'm trying to do this by myself today. So, dry it. That's what Ken, we started in the far corner applying the sealer. Now, if you notice, I worked my way inward so my hoses didn't get dirty while I cleaned. Okay, this is a flat mop, they call it. Microfiber pads, that's Velcro on there. So, the back here will just adhere onto the back of that mop. And I'll do it two-handed, it'll make it better and get it on there straight. What we're going to do is we're going to apply with the pump up pressure sprayer, Sager Super Sealer, and this is about 350 square feet, so it's not going to take too long, and it won't take too much product. And it's almost dry. It's taking a little longer to dry on me today because, um, well, it's been raining out there. It's pretty humid here in Minnesota today. So I'm going to shut these air movers off. I'm going to start in that corner, and I'm going to start working my way backwards, and we'll show you how to flat mop and apply the Super Sealer on tile and grout. Okay, since I'm going to start at the farthest point, I've already done the bathroom here, but I've moved those air movers to an area that I won't be walking on this. I'm going to work my way outward and then I'm going to do some speed drying. But just to give you an idea, how you do is you just, there's just a certain amount. You just want to get on it and you don't want to overdo it too because it does go quite a ways. So what we do is we want to get it into these grout lines. So I'm going to just start by mopping just some side to side and kind of force it into these grout lines. And you'll just kind of know, it just kind of builds itself in there. 
and it's pretty easy. Again, it's going to flash off the top of the rest of this tile service. Is there some benefit for a little while? I mean, there'll be eventually it's going to kind of wear off the top of those surfaces versus in the grout lines. But it does help wipe off some of the upper surfaces. Will you see it? No. Is, does it enhance the tile? No. Okay, again, you don't want to get it too thick. You could get some streaking by making it overly thick. Not too often that happens, to be honest, but uh, there's just a fine line. So I've done that much. I'm going to still add a little bit more. And doing this one-handed, a little bit of a bugger. But that's all we do. We just mop this on. Again, force it into the grout lines, pretty easy. Versus going down with one of those grout sticks or, whoo, much faster, much nicer. Just gonna, you'll see some areas maybe need a little more. Just give her a little, a little more shove in. It's easy, easy to do. So let me finish this up and be with you. Sorry, I haven't been watching much in the video. This 350 square feet, I'd be surprised if I go through a court, I really would be surprised. Be with you. Okay, all of that area up to about that point there. I've used maybe three squirts from the jug. Keep in mind, your flat mop is going to hang on to some of the product too. And so when you're pushing in, you'll see it. You can even see it kind of getting a little frosty white. But um, so I'm going to give it some more squirts. I'm actually going to work up that way and work to me here now. Again, you're working your way out and uh, wear your booties. All right, I'm on my final workout here. Okay, now it looks wet, it looks shiny. It is not going to dry wet and shiny looking. It is not an enhancer, it is not a wax. This is a penetrating solvent based sealer protector. So, these here, you can rinse these off, hot soapy water, that's what I do. Get them soaking and reuse them again. So what I'm going to do is let that sit for a little bit, about 10 minutes, 15 minutes if I can. And um, I am then going to start flashing it off, speed drying it off the top so you can see what it's going to look like. Typically, there's not going to be anyone in here. We'd say, you know, keep them off for a couple hours and things aren't drying really good in Minnesota today. But I'm going to speed dry it just so you can see what it looks like to start to flash off. So let's get this air mover going. And it's been a few minutes now. And so I just want to start showing what it looks like as it flashes off. There will be nothing at all for a color enhancement or a brightness from it it will just dry back to its natural colors, what we're looking for. Okay, after about two minutes, maybe three minutes, there's a little dampness there, but you can see it's drying off. Now, I'm also drying that intentionally because I gotta go shut that light switch off and lock that door, but I'm trying to do this for demonstration purposes. Some people in Arizona claim 20 minutes and there's dry. Well, Minnesota is humid today. You can see it, the glossiness is going away. And that's just speed drying for maybe two, three minutes after it sat for 10, 15 minutes. It was, I was just working on stuff outside, cleaning up, putting away. This is gonna flash completely off. There will be no, no evidence really, except for when the durability and uh, you splash some water and some items in there and coffee tea, it's gonna beat up on that. Okay, this is about 12 minutes later. You can see it's starting to dry off. There's a few areas out there that haven't been hit by the air mover quite as much. A little damp in there. About 12 minutes later, it's still damp in there. If for some reason you got streaks or footprints in it, all you'd have to do is reactivate it with a little bit of the super sealer and uh, take out those footprints or streaks if you had it, if you overdid it. That area out there is drying pretty good. And with the aid of the air movers, if you had some air pass or something too, but these directionals work and actually would have been nice if I would have had probably two more in here to really dry it faster. That way a client or a customer can use it quicker too. So I'll take a look from the other side. Okay, from the other side, there's a little bit of dampness out there. It's coming out of it though, it's flashing off really well. This is actually going to be done pretty quick now. It just gets to that point where all of a sudden it just dries and you're not going to have any streaks. Again, if you do, you can reactivate, fix them up. Little puddle in there, you can't really see much on here. 
that's how you apply the super sealer. You get it dry, you get people going. Again, keep them off for an hour or two if you can. Give it the best chance possible to protect, not streak. Awesome, I'm going to put my booties on and this pathway that I dried a little extra faster, I'm going to cross it and uh, get on out of here.